We begin in Zamfara State where bandits stormed the Federal University of Guzos and kidnapped over 20 students in the early hours of today. Six of the students were shortly after rescued by the military, according to a top military source in Guzo, the Zamfara State capital. Now, the source told Channels Television that the brigade commander of one brigade Nigerian army, Guzo, Brigadier General Sani Ahmed, is leading the operation alongside other security agencies in the forest in Safi, local government area of the state. A student of the university narrated how the incident unfolded. Around 9 um, p.m. yesterday night, we were hearing gunshots from different angles and down to 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. If, if I'm right. And what really happened was that students were kidnapped in the hostel, especially the ladies' hostel. I think three hostels. So, unfortunately, the school management have not said anything yet about this issue. And we've been raising serious concern about this issue since last session. So, we hope the school management can do something about it, but yet no response because the last protest we had leads to expression of some students and then even rustication as well. But still, yet, this thing doesn't stop. So now what we are appealing to the federal government and the general management of the school, of federal university Guzo is that to provide maximum security for the students and for our future. Meanwhile, a member representing Maru Bungudu federal constituency where the kidnapping took place, Honorable Abdul Malik Zuberu, who was a guest on our program Politics Today, put the number of the victims at 30 but confirmed that six of them have been rescued. Brigadier General is able to rescue almost six of them, and the remaining 10 people were actually kidnapped at this moment. Uh, this kidnappers is now an economic uh, issue because they normally kidnap people to get a ransom to get money out of it. They are not doing this kidnapping to keep people now to get uh, money out of it. And the, one of the uh, serious situation in that is not the only kidnapper that we are having problem with them. Most of this challenge we are having is not kidnappers as informants because they are principal actors in this transaction because they are getting money, they are getting hundreds of millions out of this transaction. House of people are the principal actors. What do they plan? Because without the cooperation of the House of people, their planning cannot have access to come to our towns especially the main headquarters. Sometimes they make this kind of operation because they say that they can have at least a relief or a negotiation with the government, especially when government try as much as possible to make sure that they arrested some of their people. So they decided to make this kind of operation so that the government will come in and make also a negotiation to see that maybe their people were released or something else like that. But I want to tell you that as a matter of fact, all what I'm saying as a member, I know that uh, this issue, it has happened. And unfortunately, the government has to do the next thing. We have, we have tired of this. 